Hello everyone, welcome back to Deus Ex. Alright, it's been a little while since I've played, so let's hope I can actually remember how to play. I believe I'm just about to start a new mission. I don't exactly remember where I was going, though. Where are we going, Jock? I'm taking you to New York. My orders are to go to Hong Kong. Your brother's in trouble. You need to meet him in Hell's Kitchen at the apartment. What's wrong? I'll let him speak for himself. He just wanted me to get you to the hotel. Alrighty then. Well, our last conversation was, uh, cut a little bit short. Hell's Kitchen. That doesn't sound like a pleasant place. Sounds kind of horrible. Your brother's hurt pretty bad. You'll find him at the apartment. If he can walk, get him to come with you. I can pick you guys up in Battery Park. Okay. Let's hope I don't break my legs on this ladder. Letters in this game are not very... Oh god. They're not very well constructed. Some careless persons left their window open. I, I seriously, like, barely remember how to play this game. Who's that handsome man? Oh. I thought I was gonna have to, like, hunt him down. He's actually right here. Is this kill switch real? What's it going to do to you? I'm afraid that's, uh, classified. Manderly said you're going to die. You've got to have God clearance to... to know. The nanites can be programmed for exponential growth. There's a chopper that can take us to Hong Kong. You know, Jock? First, you're the only one that can help. I need to send the NSF distress code. UNATCO tracked Lebedev to the other NSF bases, and a silhouette in France. I came to get you out of here. JC, you've got to believe me. UNATCO takes payoffs. Silhouette, the other terrorist groups, they're our allies. You've done what you can for the rebels. Let's go. You want proof? Pay a visit to the NSF headquarters. Down in the basement, protected by booby traps, a data cube sits on the edge of a table. My report to the militia leaders. Here, I have a photograph of the building. It's a couple blocks to the west behind the bar. And I suppose while I'm there, you want me to encrypt a signal with the NSF transmitter. Bypass UNATCO SIGINT. A lot of people could die. My friend Chad, for example, the leader of Silhouette. Check out the facility, but I can't promise I'll help the terrorists. Be ready to leave for Hong Kong when I get back. Ooh. Some food. You know what, I've got plenty of food, I really don't need it. And I don't think I need to be healed. No, I'm good. Okay. Investigate the captured NSF base to the west behind the bar to see if Paul is telling the truth about Yanako. Alright. Let me take a quick look around, make sure there's nothing big that's been left for me. Nope, just lots of nothing. Alright, here's some flowers, Paul. Feel better. Quit screwing around. There's those amazing ladders again. Alright, how badly have I broken my legs? Not too bad. Let's go ahead and consume all of my food. Oh wait, that's alcohol. Right. Eh, that's fine. I'll consume it. What the hell. Okay, how did that do for my legs? Yeah, pretty good. The chocolate goes right to my thighs. Or actually, my feet, apparently. But actually in a good way. Okay, what the hell did I have in those slots? Uh, I don't need the soy down there. I just need this for any bribes that I might need to make. 
Mm, I don't think I really need anything there. I'll put the binoculars back. Okay. Hmm. I kind of regret drinking the alcohol. I regret it a little bit. It's gonna make finding the bar interesting. No escape. It's already too late for you. This is a little bit more creepy with my view like this. Came at us with everything they had. Cut us to pieces even before we could take Washington State. Whoa, man, you're freaking me out, dude. What you looking at? I'm just minding my own business. Cops think they own you. Oh wait, this is the bar right here, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, it's behind the bar, so... I mean, behind the bar is the building I just... came from. Where is this place? To the west, behind the bar. So, this direction? Well, I don't think it's behind some trash cans. I've already been down here. There's nothing down here. Mm, one World Banking, three plaza one. New York, the future of banking is one world. Mr. Renton. As requested, we provide you a copy of your bank account and PIN number. Uh-huh. Did I already write this down? I don't know if I have. But, just in case I haven't... Well, even if I did write it down, it's not a separate piece of paper, so I kind of need to rewrite it anyway. Okay, got it. Oh, that's where it is, isn't it? That was not open before. This appears to be a loading screen tunnel. Let's see if my hunch is right. Huh? Huh? No, my hunch is wrong. That was not a loading screen tunnel. I am surprised. Excellent. Could always use more charges on this thing. I thought they were shipping you off to Hong Kong. Had to pack a few things. What's going on here? Damage control. The NSF got their hands on some pretty sensitive material. Probably had something to do with my two-faced brother. Nothing we can't clean up. Mind if I take a look around? Go right ahead. I love how in this game, when you go to explore, you pretty much always find something you can actually use. It's really satisfying. You'll need to send the signal from the satellite dish on the top of the warehouse. If you're unable to hack the computers up there, you'll need the instructions and account information Lebedev sent me. One of our agents who tried to send the signal but got run off left the data cube in a secret area below the garage. Look for a hatch under some boxes. A computer on the third floor can unlock the hatch. Look for a hatch under some boxes. Okay, well, if I can hack the computer, it sounds like I didn't... I don't actually need to do that if I can hack, and I certainly can hack. Hmm. <laughs> 
These trash bags appear to be full completely, like just stuffed full of crickets. Crickets and wind. Huh. Just keeping busy. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, what's back here? Secrets? massive hazmat suit comes out of this box. I don't know why that amused me. It, it seems, if anything, it's more amusing when you break open a massive box and it just has one tiny little bit of ammo in it. Ah. Thank you very much, Repairbot. this in their pathway? Did they just walk around it? I wonder. I really need to know. They just walk around it. Okay. Ooh, TNT. Okay, I've had my fun. They really shouldn't keep those around. Because you can throw it two feet and it explodes and kills everybody in a room. I keep mentioning that's a safety hazard, but no one deals with it. One of these days, they'll realize they really need to fix it. Clear to be up here, Agent. I don't give a damn. You're not clear to stand next to me, because I'm way above you. I'm more important than you. Crime scene unit personnel only. Ah, whatever. I think that might actually be the data cube right there. He said it was on the side of a table. On the edge of a table. So is he actually gonna like shoot me? If he sees me go in there? We will report this intrusion to Walton Simons. Wait, wait, wait. That... okay. So I shouldn't be seen or something bad might happen. Let's avoid that. So it doesn't shoot me, but he's gonna report me to somebody. If it wasn't for Simons, we'd still be wearing those little white helmets. Yeah. He's what they call a philanthropist. Axe this file? Yeah, all of it. The whole director. What I want to know is what he gets in return. Don't you know what a philanthropist is? Yeah, like Nietzsche. No, a philanthropist. Giving to charity. Oh. Well, that's why he volunteered for FEMA. To help out after hurricanes and that kind of thing. That's a lot of money to just give away. Some people are just good, you know. Good to the bone. Is 
So, um, or <coughs> are they gonna get all bent out of shape if they see me? We're about to find out. Nope, they don't care. We're in the middle of something. You shouldn't be in here. Oh, I guess I shouldn't be here. I can't even hack this computer anyway. Um, <laughs> also, this keypad appears to be upside down. Huh. This one is right side up. This one isn't. Okay, then. Alright. Uh, ooh, I only have five lockpicks. That's right, I used a bunch of them. What's actually in there? I do see a data cube. This one also takes two picks. Alright, I guess I'll just use them. It's probably worth it. Certainly gotta be a better use of my lockpicks than what I actually used most of them on, which I think was back around the airport when I used them on all those lockers. Jesus, dude. What is wrong with you? Get a freaking cough drop or something. You're freaking me out, man. That's all that's in here. Alright, this data cube better be worth it. Young. I've got to assist our forces at the airfield. But I've prepped the security grid here in case of attack. If Unaco does breach our perimeter, log in as T. Jefferson. Oh, okay, sweet. T. Jefferson. New revolution. Got it. And activate it immediately. It should buy you some time, at least long enough to get to the airfield. I know Aaron is looking forward to seeing you again. Don't disappoint her. Decker. Ooh, wait a minute. Where does that door go? Oh, I think that's the door I accessed from outside that also required two lockpicks. Yeah, it's gotta be. So there's no point in me lockpicking it. Alright, I'm not supposed to be... Yeah, I'm not supposed to be on this level. You're not clear to be up here, Agent. I'm just going to awkwardly stand and wait for him to walk away. He won't be suspicious at all. Nah. Thank you, medbot thing. Do not enter. Uh, I think I want to enter. At some point. Not just yet. Foggy. Oh, is that like a chilled computer server room? Venting on off. Do I want to flip that? I'm not entirely sure what that does. Also, why is the button off-center? For some reason, that bothers me. I'm not okay with that. All. I've released halon gas into the computer room to prevent any fires breaking out in case of assault. Obviously, anyone entering the room unprotected will suffocate. Use a hazmat suit or pump out the gas before entering if you need to perform any maintenance. Oh, that's what it's for. Let's go ahead and vent it, then. 
Okay, sweet. Why is there a human skull in here? One has to wonder. It also seem, it it seems to be sticky too. Well, kind of sticky. Oh, I need to keep venting it, I guess. Apparently, okay. Jefferson. Alright. Turn the camera off. Unlocked. Open it up. Oh yeah. I totally forgot about that. Not sure if I could have opened it by hand, though. Might have needed to do that here. It was unlocked, though, so probably would have been openable. I kind of want to see how fast I die if I turn this off. I really want to know. Okay, how much did that hurt me? Just hurt my torso by 10 points. Nothing but a flesh wound. There we go. Turn that loud ass thing off. Holy flashing room. supposed to be in level 3, then I'm obviously not supposed to be in level 4 either. There's a lot of D&D around here. That guy's patrol. Ooh. What's his patrol path? Wait, is that his patrol path? <laughs> I feel kind of bad for him. Do you know what I imagine is going through his mind right now? He's probably thinking, "Fuck you, level designer. You fucking asshole. You." Piece of shit, you put me on the stupid patrol path. I hate you. I hate you. I have to follow it. I have no choice but to walk back and forth across five feet every two seconds. Thanks. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I could break the glass. Uh, they probably hear that. Actually, I'm not sure if I have a choice. I don't think I can get around them. Let's do that to begin with. Alright, nobody cares. Cool.
Oh shit. You did not come in before, you asshole. He is such a hacker. Come on, look at that. You saw what he did. He's walking back and forth, wasn't going through the door. And then magically... Decides to come in at a very inopportune moment. Hmm. Uh, did I ever actually find the data cube I was supposed to? And how do I get in there? Ah, maybe through the door. That's a good idea. Oh, the one that doesn't open. I don't know if this has the same login. No, okay. Come on, come on. Okay. This one's probably not T. Jefferson either. Not sure if I spelled that right, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not it. Did I actually find the data cube? Broadcast message. Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What did I even find? Let's see. See, I'm forgetting people's names, so I'm not sure who these are, like Decker. Who's Decker? I should know who Decker is. That rings a bell, but I don't even remember exactly who it is. If Unaco does breach our perimeter... Log in, that's... okay, that's not incriminating. Get the login to the satellite dish computer from the secret area below this hatch. Okay, so the secret area below the hatch is just to get the login details. So if I can hack this computer, which I just did, then I don't need that, right? So where's the data cube that I was supposed to find? Okay, okay. Down in the basement, protected by booby traps, a data cube sits on the edge of a table. Okay, well, I haven't gone through any booby traps, so... Yeah, I definitely did not find it. This must be remedied. Crime scene unit personnel. Mm. Don't report me, don't report me, don't report me, don't report me. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Uh. Okay, whew. Eh, he didn't say he was going to report me, so I think I might be okay. Okay, basement. This is where I came in. Level one is in the basement, is it? Ooh, I haven't been here. Who in the hell has a sideways facing faucet? The answer to that is no one. Ever. In the history of the world. It literally doesn't exist. Why is there a key next to the toilet? Oh, well, there's the basement key. Now I just need to find the basement. I 
mean, is that the basement? The secret hatch? It is. It does go down. It probably is. Okay, I guess that's it. it. Made it sound like the only reason to go down here was to get the login details, but... It doesn't appear that's the case. I do hear what sounds like traps. That, yeah, that's definitely... Alright, this is definitely it. I'm suspicious about this crate. I feel like I might be hiding something. It it wasn't hiding anything. Well, this is no problem. I have 13 friggin' tools. And a pretty good hacking skill, if I do say so myself. Alright, unfortunately, that did not disable all of them. <clears throat> I should probably save it before I blow my limbs off. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. Hold on, is there momentum to the jump? Okay, there is momentum, so you need to get going for a little while before you press jump. If you move and then jump, you do this kind of a jump. That's what I did. You gotta move a little bit and then jump. Okay. Do I set off the alarm if I put this in front of it? Yes. <laughs> it only makes sense. I just wanted to be sure. I, why do I... I don't even need that. Oh, these boxes aren't to help me, they're to hinder me. Because if they get pressed into it, then, well, it's going to get set off. Oh god, fuck. That's TNT. <laughs> I just realized that's TNT. <laughs> Fucking assholes. Some level designer is like, yeah, some some guy's gonna be whacking these boxes and not thinking about it, and then kaboom. Okay. Can I put it down gently? Fuck, I'm kind of committed now, aren't I? Uh... H how do... Is there a drop button? Or can I only throw? Shit. Shit. Shit, what have I done? Is there a drop button? Drop slash throw item. It's slash throw item, so no. Fuck. I'm just going to keep trying to throw it at the smallest distance possible. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'm not going to break that cardboard box. Nope. Nope. nothing behind him. Uh, oh, there's the thing to hack. Blippity bloopity. Um, what? What did, what did I by bypass? Also, why did that just close and then open? That's kind of freaking me out. 
Um, uh, is there another one of these? There's not one behind there. There isn't one behind here. Hmm. All right, I guess we're doing this the hard way. No. No, that is not how physics behave. That is not how physics work. There you go, that's how physics work. Kind of. Oh god, don't move. Oh, oh, oh. This, this is not going to work. I'm going to fall right into it. I need to push it. It needs to be a little bit closer. Oh my god, that is also not how physics work. <laughs> that is not how physics work. It doesn't work like that. What the hell is going on? What? What the fuck just happened? I saved my game and then I like freaked out. My character freaked out. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Awesome. God damn it. Fuck me. I don't get it. I disabled the thing and I didn't... Like, shouldn't these be disabled? Because I disabled the thingy? <laughs> what did it disable? Did you just, like, turn off this one gun? And what's wrong with that wall? Also, the noises in here are making my ears bleed. Oh, thank God, sweet relief. Yes. Um, yeah, I can't even take this. Or, no, okay, okay, maybe I can. It goes invisible, like maybe it doesn't actually... Okay, it doesn't trigger it to take it. I was figuring that my hands are reaching through the beams, but apparently it doesn't matter. Oh, that was close. Oh, good. No, no. Yes. I don't know why that just opened up, but I don't like it. Seems like if you press anything around the time when you're saving the game, it just freaks out. Oh, oh fuck. And now I need three picks, and I've only got four. Actually, wait a minute. No, you know what? There's nobody down here. So, I'm gonna do this. What is that green smoke? That doesn't look good. Also, you can blow these things up? Let me try my sniper. What's the zoom key? Is it Z? Z. Well, that didn't work. Okay, so they can, be they can be blown up with explosives, but not with standard bullets. Oh. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's gone. Ah. Well, this seems like it's hiding something. Hmm. Hmm.
Ow. Also, apparently it's not hiding anything. Eh, just a little bit of shrapnel went into my eye. Eh, I only lost one of my eyes, I'm fine. <clears throat> Oh shit, there's a camera. Wait, how did the camera not see me? It doesn't even turn. I, I can't even avoid it. Yeah, I, I can't even avoid it. It doesn't even seem to care that I'm here. Aren't they going to see me on the on the video? Like, aren't they going to have video evidence of me being here? Okay, I don't get it. Is something broken? I bypassed it. What, what did it... What am I bypassing? What did that actually bypass? Keep in mind, I can't actually use it. It seems like when you bypass it, that does whatever it's gonna do. You know, whatever it's connected to, it'll automatically disable it. I can't actually, like, use it. I'm trying to. I don't get it. It seemed to do literally nothing. Alright, well, fuck you two. There we go. Ooh, there's something behind there. All right, let's hope, let's hope this one actually does something. Are these like red herring electronic control panels? Did that do something? Did, what? Okay, maybe there was one, no. It's already bypassed. Okay. Wonderful. This doesn't look pleasant. Am I gonna have to come back out here? Like, am I gonna have to go, am I gonna have to go out the way I came in? move that press that off hopefully it's not too far okay hmm I think I need another one okay that doesn't look pleasant I could go to hack that control panel, but what is it going to accomplish? My experience says absolutely nothing. I mean, seriously, if anybody knows, please tell me. Is, yeah, am I missing something huge, or is the game just broken? Like, what's up? curious if this is actually going to do something. Hey, this one worked! Okay. Cool. Excellent. Alright. Is the hell over? I think it might be. 
two picks. Eh. I wonder if I can blow this up. Whoa. Oh, that's a my hazmat power supply. Okay. Whew. Freaked me out for a second. Oh, that's where... Wait. Oh, no, no. I was thinking that's where this leads, but no, this is totally separate from what I was thinking. This is the door that wouldn't even open from the outside. Because it can only be opened from the inside. Alright, it's supposed to be a data cube down here, right? So I guess it's probably inside of that door. Let's try this. Alright. That solved many, many issues at the same time. Where art thou, Data Cube? Accuracy. Right, Parada, I've already got one. Accuracy. Should I use that on my tranquilizer dart gun? The one that is of limited use. Or should I use it on my sniper? I don't think I'm ever going to really use the sniper. At least no time soon. So let's put it on the tranquilizer dart. Wait. Am I back where I've been before? It's just a big circle. I'm so confused. Where is this data cube? Did I already find it? And if I did, uh, obviously the shocking evidence I was supposed to find wasn't that shocking to me. Wait, 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 wait. is that it? That was it? Why is it there? He said it was on the, the edge of a table. That is not a table. Huh. Anyway. Okay. Paul, I'm sending this message from the plane. Yudaka has been even more ruthless than we'd feared. And the reports I'm receiving now are that our people are being slaughtered in the tunnels. It's probably only a matter of time before I'm captured and executed and I don't doubt that they'll kill everyone they can back at our headquarters. If you find this, you must get a message out to our people. Align the communications dishes using the satellite dish control computer. The login is M. Collins, and the password is Revolution. Nearby is the actual communications console. Log in using Napoleon and the same password, and a coded warning will automatically be bounced to everyone on our network. I can hear the gunshots. They've reached the plane. I'm sorry I won't be able to thank you in person. You've done much for the people of the world. J.L. Is that a J and an L? I think it's a J and an L. Okay, well I can't say that's terribly incriminating. But, I certainly don't trust you, Nako, and my brother is with them, so you know what? I think I'm gonna side with... Yeah, let's go against you, Nako. Okay. Um, M. Collins. Revolution. Napoleon. Am I going the right way? No, 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 I'm not. Here we go. 
Okay, now to make my way back up. For realsies this time. You're not clear to be up here, Agent. Mm. Alright, no one said those horrible words. I'm going to report you, so... I think I might be okay. I could hack it, but I think I'll just log in. Oh, wrong one. Is it Napoleon? <clears throat> there we go. NSF evacuation signal being sent. No email. troops to kill me, but they, they're they still appearing as green. Oh, shit. He's coming up. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Lock and load. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. No. Missed one too many times there. Hey, who's there? Shit. Hold it. Fuck. I'm terrible. Okay, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, is he gonna stay there? That would just be cruel. Okay, no, no, he's moving. Well, he's about to be in for a shocking discovery. Because I'm going to cattle prod him in the ass. Ooh. 
Oh, I hit him right in the head for the second one. I don't... Wait, what? Oh, god damn it. Should take effect at some point here. No. No. I don't want to keep reloading. I'm okay with some mistakes, but that's just like totally f God damn it. Somebody's there. A guy in civvies. I know I saw something. The enemy. Lock and load. I can't stop fucking up. Alright, he goes to the side. Then I can go hey, by Who's there? Uh, Contact, I have visual. My mistake. <laughs> Thought it was a terrorist. Oh, you so silly. Terrorist. What even is a terrorist? Alright, so I think the guy comes back down, right? Is, is that who saw me? Does he come back down? Because I took this guy out and then somebody saw me. Who is that that saw me? I don't see anyone over there. Hmm, well anyway, I don't even need to take him out, so... I think the main floor might be a little bit of a challenge. Wait, 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 he stops right here, doesn't he? And he turns to look. What? Close do you have to be with this damn thing to shock someone? Jesus. Ridiculous. Alright, well not bad so far. Aside from the couple minute stretch where I messed everything that could possibly go wrong. Where I messed it all up. Someone coming back this direction? No, okay. Whew. I think those are footsteps from below me. Alright, where are you going? Where are you going? Maybe nowhere? Is anyone else looking? No, no one else is looking. Oh shit, yeah, someone else is looking. That guy's coming around. It's gonna be a problem. Let me try this tactic. We have movement here, sir. Oh, God damn, terrorist. That makes everybody aware, right? I was just thinking, maybe if he doesn't shoot his gun, nobody knows, but no, he, he calls out and everybody else actually hears him. Just checking. Testing the boundaries of the AI, now that I've been away long enough that I've forgotten. So yeah, that once again solidifies the thought in my mind that the tranquilizer gun kind of blows. What are you doing? There you go. Okay, I think I need to take my opportunity here. Nobody's looking. 
Engaging the enemy. Shit. Make a break for it. Make a break for it. You, it's dense. Oh, Make a break there. for it. You, ah. stop right there. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. I'll accept that. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. You. Okay, well, you, I'm going to use a tranquilizer dart on. You. Stop right there. I hope he goes down before he starts to shoot me. Shit. Go down, go down, go down. The bots up here. Okay. Whew. Just check the bar. See if anything has changed. Take a brief look. Ooh, what about the news? I think this is new, isn't it? Terrorist attack at LaGuardia or LaGuardia. The recent terrorist attack on Liberty Island and the resultant reprisal by UNATCO forces appears to have spilled over onto a private airfield at LaGuardia Airport, where fighting is still ongoing at last report. All inbound flights are being rerouted to John F. Kennedy International Airport, while outbound flights have been suspended until further notice. Look for further updates as more information becomes available. Page donates to area clinics. Today, Bob Page made a record donation of over 10 million credits to the Clinics and Hospices Association of New York the largest private donation in the organization's history. Already strained to the breaking point by the influx of patients suffering from the Gray Death, the donation was a gift from God, according to Ray Kobo, deputy director of CHANY. This couldn't have come at a better time and should allow us to dramatically improve our services. It was the right thing to do, commented Page. When I was in New York recently, the suffering that I saw in the streets was unconscionable. Thomas Aquinas, a personal icon, worked his entire life to ease such terrible pain. This is the very least I could do. Is that what those two guards were talking about? The guy who's just nice and donated his... donated something? I don't remember hearing a name, but I'm guessing that's what they were talking about. Don't think I've entered this one before. Maybe I have. Hopefully I haven't. Let's try that one more time. Four, eight, seven, six, five, nine. Maybe I've entered this before. Two, four, nine, oh, eight, seven. Okay, whatever. Hey, officer. Can you tell me about the raid? What makes you think I'm a cop? The bartender told me she thinks you work for Yanako. You must know something. The authorities are closing down the whole street. You some kind of journalist? Full reporter, Midnight Sun. Seen any of my work? I don't read the tabloids. Of course, the intellectual type. You don't mind being quoted, though, do you? I don't talk to the press. You tell me what's going on. I'll tell you if I hear anything, or you can read about it tomorrow. Um, yeah, no thanks. I don't think I'll read your shitty tabloid. Apparently I can't talk to her. Also, what's wrong with me? <laughs> okay then. Here's a tip for free. Take cover. Yanako's about to do a raid. 
But you, you mean like a raid of the bar? All right, nothing much of interest here. All they said was clear out. We're coming in. Are you serious? What? My arms can't reach that? <laughs> okay. Did you like the flowers? Have they been keeping you company? Your buddy Chad should have received the signal. Come on, Unat goes after both of us. Good. He'll be able to get his people to their base in the Paris catacombs. Did you find the records we collected on that weasel Walton Simons? I have a question about Simons. The instant I sent the signal, he ordered the troopers to hunt us down. Why does FEMA have authority over Unatco? I thought FEMA was a domestic agency for flood relief and that sort of thing. His authority doesn't come from FEMA. He's part of a secret organization, Majestic 12. We don't know much more than the name. They plan to use FEMA as part of a scheme to shut down the U.S. government. Agent J.C. Denton, please put down your weapons and step into the hallway. Unatco! Come on, out the window. We'll meet Jock in Battery Park. I can't manage the climb. You go ahead. The code to the gate they installed at the subway station is 6282. I can't just leave you here. Open up! Don't be a fool. Run! Okay, time to go. What if I actually stayed? What if you actually stayed? Did you just die? Or, or what? I wonder if that's like a story decision. What if I go back? And when was my last save game? I just remember before talking to him. I could try. I'm curious. Oh my god. <laughs> what are they doing? AI in this game is so weird. Seating is disgusting. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, what is this? You can get arrested? Like, taken into custody? What? Whoa. I came to watch you die. You're early. I've got at least 20 hours left. I was hoping the kill switch would have started. I don't feel anything. You won't be able to hide it for long. What have you done with Paul? Same as anything that malfunctions. Same as you. Holy crap. Can you actually, like, escape or, or what? I need you to escape. I can cut power to the door only a few seconds without being detected. Get ready. I don't actually want to do this, but this is also really cool. I had, I just thought you would just die. Holy shit. <laughs> this is so cool. The amount of detail they put into this. You don't just die, but you actually get taken into custody and there's an entire storyline. That is so freaking cool.
Now I'm really curious. All right, so there's at least two pathways here. You can escape. Or you can get taken into custody. What if you try to save Paul? I, I don't know if they're, ki like, killing him right away or if they're just taking him into custody. But... Do I have a lamb? I I, oh, I think I used all my lambs, didn't I? Gas grenade? Maybe I should use a gas grenade. That's gonna gas me, though, isn't it? What can I do to take him out? I'm not entirely sure. I guess I'll try a gas grenade. Target my position. What the? <laughs> what? Okay. I don't think it's fair to say I was taken into custody there. Hmm. I could try cross-bolting them all with tranquilizer darts and then running and hiding. Oh shit. Oh my god. Let's try actually throwing it more than two feet from me. Target my position. Where's the others? Ooh, I just heard one go down. Okay. I know there's more than just two, though. I only hit two. Oh, somebody's still screaming. That's good for me. Where is he? And I want to know, like, is Paul dead? Is he still there in the chair? Ooh, ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, got him. Go down, go down, go down. Go down! Visual contact has been lost. Does he need another dart? Shit, I think he does. No, target is not in sight. Target is not in sight. Go away. Who are you even talking to? Jesus, is this guy invincible? What is going on? Alright, let's see how he likes to. <laughs> Did that take him out? Okay, I think I got. What? Where's Paul? They just walked up to him and he disappeared and. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. I really want to figure out if this is actually doable. So this is right before talking to him. Buddy so. Chad should have received. Good. Do not. Co I can't. I can't. Oh, don't be. Okay, hold on. So theoretically, he's here. Whoa. 
what are you doing, buddy? I'll be all right. Go. Okay. Excellent. There's. No, no, you're gonna come with me. I hear screaming, but they're outside. I can't go into that cloud, can I? Alright, I'll pop out to shoot some guys. <laughs> this is such a mess. <laughs> okay. What am I even doing? What am I even doing? No, you know, I need to wait for them to come in. There's still only one. I don't know if I have the patience for this. Okay, Paul, can you just come with me? Paul. Paul, what are you doing? Oh my god. Paul, can we go now? Is it not even possible to save him? Oh, there's still more out there. I'm just gonna kill them all just to I'll see if this is right. even possible. Go. Oh shit. There's like a million of them. Five smuggler get me to Hong Kong. He owes me a favor. You meet Jock in Battery Park. I I don't understand what just happened. Did I just save him and he's going somewhere else? Or I don't know. I'm just going to leave. I discovered some very interesting things there, but I'm also very confused. I'm just going to go. How much food do I have? Eh, a little bit. I heard shooting. Okay. Oh, they got the robots out. That's not good. Battery park. Don't run from a cop. It just makes it worse when they get. I don't have a map of this place. I'm not sure where Battery Park is. Ooh, I think it might be this way. Yeah, I'm, I think it's this way. Maybe? That is my goal, right? The code to the Hell's Kitchen subway station. Oh, right, I need to go to the subway station. And the subway station is... I actually don't remember where the subway station is. Cops are sure out for blood tonight. Oh, that's a subway station over there, isn't it?
Hmm. This is gonna be challenging. Yeah. To say the least. Jesus. How? I might have to just run. Movement, sir, movement! You can't you. see me. Stop right there! Oh, you can see me. Oh. The robot doesn't even care. Oh. Uh, hi, what are you doing here? Uh, um... 628, uh, 6282. Who are you, by the way? Oh, you're just a random hooker. Okay, I thought maybe I could have a conversation with her. Nope. What are you doing here? She's not my enemy, yet. So... It's not all bad, I guess. Well, hold on, Anna. Or Ann Navara. Is it Ann or Anna? Not entirely sure. But anyway, before she converses with me, I'm gonna end this episode here, because I meant to play for about an hour, but I've already played for like an hour and 20 minutes. I just can't stop myself. You know, this game is dated. It's definitely dated, and there's a lot of janky stuff. A lot of stuff that's just really weird. Things that don't work properly, and things that just leave me scratching my head. But... It's also really, really fun. I just want to keep playing. And I'm not entirely sure why, frankly. I'm not exactly sure what is so compelling about it, but there is something. There's something really compelling about it, despite its jankiness. And its weirdness. I don't know what it is. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I come back, I will try to escape my doom and everybody trying to shoot me and also converse with Anne Novara and see what the heck she wants to talk to me about. Whatever it is, I'm, it's probably not going to be pleasant, though. Unless she suddenly decided to change factions as well. Or maybe she was never on Yunako's side to begin with. Maybe she's... Like a, a sleeper agent, a plant, hmm.